That's the real horror, Sam. I've heard nothing but absolutely fantastic things. I've recommended it to a couple of people because it just came out of the Switch last Thursday. And, um... Everybody's loved it. I want to play. We're running out of time. Yeah, I've heard, same. Anybody that I've recommended it to that has the ability to play it on Steam has said nothing but really good oh. things. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. His name is Cobra? Like Cobra Commander? Cobra Kai? Mm -hmm. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look okay. around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything oh. like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and the ecology changes. Which means there could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, well, we can discuss that later. I heard you take a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go on. Go ahead and go on in. Oh, good feeling about this. Oh, I thought that said M. I'm like, I don't have an M button. Uh, an adorsal fin is yellow in its youth. As it ages, the yellow parts of its body disappear and blue becomes the dominant color. When your oxygen turns orange, you are approaching the limits. Oh, God. Wow. Nice farm. <laughs> All right. How about stretching out a bit? Try to get to the marked area. Uh, with ZL, you can move quickly, but remember this speeds up oxygen consumption. Okay, I see. Good, looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater sand. Now let's practice using the weapon you'll need and contingency of the diving knife. Try using the survival knife on a small fish. Here, you little shits. They're running oh. away from me. Well done, oh. really quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon. <laughs> a harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first? And then... Oh. Like, oh. Uh, try... Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, oh. three fish. Uh, 
think all the fish are leaving me. <laughs> I think all the fish are leaving me. Oh, how did that not hit? Oh, that went right through it. There we go. I wanted a different fish. I'm gonna also maybe need some oxygen soon. more difficult than it needed to be. Oh, who's the guy on the right? I did with a gun. <laughs> That's not what happened in Resident Evil Village. I shot a lot of fish with guns. Got some good meat. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get to the business. You love sushi, right? For sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. <laughs> well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi, uh, the sushi, oh my god, double S's. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Do you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. Aha, I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating. I don't know if they about cooking. Not to worry. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Why would I... I why would I decline? Uh, so I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You gotta pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Sushi. Oh, I also have to drive the boat? Oh my god. Hey, Boncho, are we ready to open? As you see, it's ready just in time. Mm. Oh, it's already You? Oh, are you the fisherman and cobra was talking about? Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Mm. Alright, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. Mm. Do you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Mm. Oh boy, just thinking about it is making my mouth water. Just as mediocre as expected. Mm. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. 
Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life one that en- is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to every Oh no, the cat! What in that? to get me the best in quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Well, this song's a bit of a bop. Exceeding your carrying capacity will slow you down. That is quite the blue hole. Seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Whoops! Maybe I shouldn't have brought that. Anyway, we needed some more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Prepare Boncho sushi, make a hundred gold, prepare sushi ingredients, I gotta catch seven fiosh. Flesh splash. Rainbow warse? I don't know fish, guys. Forgive me. I need to catch fancy fish. Have we frozen already? Nope. Sploosh.
How does that not count? Has a long slender body with a wide thin tail. Its entire body is covered with a thick scaleless armor-like hide. Most of its body can hide between rocks with its head barely peeking out on the lookout for prey. Uh, there was like a pun on the song by uh, Tim Barton. Yeah, he's uh, constantly clearing out things, you could say. It's so hard to use this. I, I, I don't know how to describe it. The aiming and... Like, you'd think, but I can't. Like, I can't. This is... This is best I can do. Nice. Um, how do I, where do I 
I get 100 gold from. I can't go that... Okay, so I can't go more than about 30 meters right now. Calmer. Calmer. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just here having a good time right now. Oh, more oxygen. That's good to know. Can I touch you? from a little good for you. Underwater scooter. Oh hell yeah, brother. Nice. Raising money for mine. Awesome. I'm just, like that's so great.
it's fine. I just wanted... Oh, I'm, I'm a gram. Oh my God, it's fine. We'll just go, I think we'll, we're gonna have to stop, yeah. I need more carrying capacity. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. I sure did. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. In my mind, we'll look at the time. We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, cooking ingredients. If you exceed your weight limit, you will slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry anymore. I know I'm... Yay. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready for dinner. Uh, yeah. Sushi time, guys. Nice. All ingredients left on the menu after opening will be discarded. Don't over-prepare. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, of course. It's okay. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. I hope you are... Feeling better after your little decompress. Have a great rest of your Monday. Work it off. Eight dink low. Boncho, how are the preparations coming along? I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said, all I needed to do was cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked in a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon, so I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Press B to close the ingredient window. All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Alright, that probably wasn't that hard. I'm gonna forget how to do this. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace the items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill the menu as much as you can. So we're doing norimaki and green tea. How do I know if I'm going to over prepare? Pyramid butterfish sushi, rainbow waris. Almost. 
close. We can almost do that. I think we're... How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? Uh, no, only soft drinks, I think. I'll show you how. Go over to Cobra. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Nice! <laughs> customers who drink green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. As expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. That tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Oh, I understand. Okay. He's cooking. Come over to where I am and take the food. You can dash from serving food. Use. I have a stand on there? Hello. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say. What in the world? Let me check on that. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Seems like such a waste to throw it away. Boncho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table. Well, alright. Why can't I eat it? Everything looks about ready. Hmm. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. I'm nervous. Don't forget to press Y after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes on the menu. Don't forget to register dishes on the menu. We tried so hard. <laughs> My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Oh. 
I'm hungry. I need a murderer. Are you the man who's been diving around here? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you tell me for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? <laughs> okay. So what do you want? I'd like to study. I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Send me, get me some agar and red starfish. First. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two. <laughs> Your tone makes me want to refuse. Hmm. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it. It's fine by me. A, a reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you can ask for a nice. Thing. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. New content, smartphone. You can use your phone to access various types of content, check your current missions and more. Game settings can be accessed from your phone. How do I... N, I don't have an N? Oh, uh, plus? Everything is locked. That's... It's, it's the plus button, but it's N, sure. So do I get to keep my baseball bat or what? Because that was really fun. I liked my baseball bat. Sushi by the bar. Starry puffer. I'm not going to be puffing much when I club him to death. So where did Cobra Kai go? Hmm. A 
Yeah. Dave, did you get mm. loose, uh, loosened up? Mm -hmm. It's all on nasty fish. It won't be easy yeah. to go any deeper. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something oh. keeps them on edge. Is it my baseball bat? Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun mm. in addition to the harp? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Mm. Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional mm. diver. Interesting, I thought divers were athletic and muscular. He seemed to defy my prior mm. knowledge. People who live in mm -hmm. glass houses. So, what's this about? I like to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business, and now I'm in need of some weapon stuff. Mm, season 2 of Straw Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright, I've actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down and brought out. Oh man, my baseball bat! I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm. That is rather interesting. You piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you, you could say. Yeah. My hypothesis is that anything not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break yeah. down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision yeah. parts. Hmm. So we'll have to get the materials from the yeah. sea ourselves. Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master dog. Yeah. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you, just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Oh yeah, like I'm gonna be able to catch a white tip reef shark. Okay, let's try and not.
let's not go near the shark. I didn't get a chance to hit a lot of fish. Well, to think you'd actually managed to bring it back, expected you to quietly expire in the depths. <laughs> Seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. Show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Death's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized, only 42 MB. That's a good day. basic underwater rifle. <laughs> With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Uh, yes. Oh, when one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapon chests? Can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you can say. Oh, but I'll collect info about weapons you pick up and create new chests for you. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down into water. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, Tyranity. Weaponsmith Death. Weapon shop. You can craft weapons at Death's shop. Acquiring a weapon uh, a certain number of times will complete a blueprint, making the weapon craftable. Go hunting. Go hunting with powerful weapons. Weapons can be crafted multiple times. Hmm. You actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. All right. I should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. And add my number. You collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right now. I really hope the customers keep coming. Try to think of it. It's already been around eight years since we've known each other. I was having fun diving back then near Rikalu Rock. You suddenly wanted to get your suitcase and fell off the boat. <laughs> I thought I was in real trouble back then. I was working as a weapon dealer, and there was some important difference in that suitcase. Luckily, you saved them before they could be ruined. I have no idea how I would have fought Hans Lind Lindman. Hans Lindman. I was talking to myself. Don't mind me. This guy, uh, he's a little sus. Okay, let's do one more service and then I'm gonna have to wrap it up for the night. What about? Oh, I think this means that we can upgrade it, right?
We gotta put these on the menu, don't we? We didn't really have a lot. I didn't get a lot of clubbing done. How much money did we make? I didn't wasn't even paying attention. Not as much. We made forty-seven dollars. I do more clubbing down there. By chance, Doctor Bacon. Yes, what is it? I always, I was always right about these things. Nice to meet you. I'm Doctor Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the sea people civilization. I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you all about them? Maybe I shouldn't have asked. The Sea People Civilization lives in legends. They are said to have occupied this region a very long time ago. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's all there is to say. 
Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea? You don't see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it that it is from no known civilization. Oh. It's dated uh, to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts mm. back then. That is interesting, but what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like mm. you to help me. Oh. oh. My assistant told me the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please mm. come take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can... Ha, sorry to interrupt the conversation, I'm Cobra. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. We don't have time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underworld civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. A batch of sushi will be bursting at the seams. That's a point. All right, I'll help. Isn't that lucky? Oh, of course, I won't be asking for it for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, huh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. Okay. Okay. All over it. Uh, oh, I need money for that. The iDiver app allows you to get enhanced various diving equipment. Okay. And then let me tell you how to use the iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Yeah, I'm trying to help. Sorry. Come on, thing. Um. Okay. Now you may want to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use the iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget anything that can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. Okay. <laughs> 